Hello there, this is the OK95 right here bringing you a locust sniping gameplay and as you see a car and car that always comes to me in this damn game. As you hear there I was raging a bit because it is a piece of shit and it always comes to me every time I go into a game and you know so I was using that thing on the other team I just get killed by it like I don't know how it finds me, I don't know why it likes me it just loves to attract into me and it just kills me all the time i've never seen it kill anyone else on my team it never has and i don't think it never will unless i freaking run around a whole map for some reason i don't know do a marathon run or suicide myself before it comes to me i don't know it's just annoying to play against um this is a 60 plus with my lucas so i hope you enjoy this because it's very hard to get a game plays like this with a sniper because sniping on this game is quite hard to get i don't know why either it's just a very Hard thing on Black Ops 3. I know it's hard to snipe in this game. Like I used to kind of snipe uh, on other games as well. Like I did play Advanced Warfare because it was shit. Uh, Ghost was quite easy because of the scope. Uh, Modern Warfare 3. No, no, Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 2 was very easy. So it, it, it's quite unique to, to snipe on different game. You know, there's some games it's very easy and some games it's very not. But anyway, and about the gameplay, I kind of want to talk about Call of Duty a bit actually because I ain't talked about it in a while, and I kind of want to talk about. What does COD need to bring back? Like, what does it need to bring back? I have one idea what they need to bring back. And it was very, very, very good. Um, it was the Call of Duty Elite Service. And if you don't know what that was, it was on Modern Warfare 3. You can install it or you can pay for it. It's pretty much like a subscriber pass. If you pay for it, it's a subscriber pass and you get loads of more exclusive things with it. And what it did was... it actually had some very unique things that made the game interesting a bit. I know it seems weird at first, but trust me, hear me out. At first they had heat mats. What heat mats was is where you mostly would die from or where mostly people would be. And you could kind of analyze a bit on how you died. I didn't personally use this. I'm just saying for people in general who were back, not struggling in the game, but it had like heat mats to help them out. Or it had tip videos, you know, how to aim better or how, you know, you had like a Call of Duty veteran talk about it. Like, we never heard of him, but they had some guy talk about you know how to use quick draw what class is good for this which class and it was just quite a nice feature to actually have on the actual app because it actually made it you more helpful and then you had clan battles which was really good because i think what uh you got like some things from the clans and stuff or oh, i think that was ghost actually like you did clan wars and it just made the game a whole lot more better some reason black Ops 3 did like put this in the game and it's quite disappointing i don't do clans or anything but i mean clans in general it made the game more fun for them to enjoy going out onto clan wars and actually controlling control posts and stuff another thing that i liked about call of duty one of the three elite surface was is they had actually a competition and i think it was like every month for the first five months and for some reason just stopped doing it but what it did actually was is it made competition more fun it made it more easier for us people casual gamers to actually win prizes i actually took part in one of these uh, competitions it was a most kills in free for all and it was very late at night i actually had to do it stay up to it was from 12 um p, p am uh, in the uk to 3 am so i had to set up for three hours get in much kills as i can in free for all and i actually finished 31st in the whole world of that competition and what the prize was for first place it was an atv and i had three sick from call of duty to give that out i am not gonna lie it'll be really very really sick to actually give that out second place i think it was a tv and uh, third place was a headset so it was major prizes for that leaderboard and sadly not i couldn't get there and i think i missed out by at least 20 kills like it was very very close because I think it was the top three, the top, the second and third place had the same kills, but it's because of the deaths they had as well in that game. It took two, so that's why second place got that and third place got that. So it was actually least deaths as well. So, you know, it was really good fun to do that. I never took part in any other competitions because I never had time to, but there were some other good prizes that I heard about. I can't remember if it was more Astro headsets and, you know, good. Uh, scuff controllers or goodie bags you know all this stuff for competition the modern world for free what made the game more interesting to play like i think the either next the next cod on the cod after that needs to bring something like that you know elite service that needs to bring back and competitions you know they were paid the fans for playing their game because it makes the game more fun yes we get dlc maps but we pay for that so if they do 
do something like this it'll make the game i won't say it'll bring cod community alive again but like it'll make the game more interesting to play if that makes sense you know because the, you know, as you know cod's kind of slowly dying and what they need to do is something more better they need to bring it back to world of war in my opinion i think they need to go back to world of war bring back the world of war games because the world of war was where it's at it was most fun and just, um, we're just all hoping for the DLC to come out to make so the game more interesting again. But anyway, guys, this has been the boy the LK95 right here. I really hope you enjoy this short uh, commentary. Well, it's not really short, but I hope you enjoy this commentary. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more content, and I shall talk to you later, guys. Until then, have a good night, and peace. Look at that man, fucking me dominating.